Hey, if you've ever wondered what this place was here in Chiang Mai, stick around. I'm going to show you what it is. Company. Oh, okay. Company. Okay. Mm -hmm. Can I? It's okay to walk around, and take some pictures. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Okay. Well, we're uh, we're gonna go do a little exploring here. Uh, just at a looks like a just a building that's out here and uh, kind of looked interesting. So I thought I'd stop as I was passing by. We're right on the other side of uh, the Holiday Inn, right on the river. But uh, we'll uh, we'll do some exploring out here, and I'll leave a I'll leave a pin location on the map so you can see where it is. Welcome to the channel. Uh, yesterday I came out here and found this hotel, uh, or what was a hotel at one time. Uh, it was called the Raja Wadi Hotel, and apparently it went out of business about 30 years ago. And I talked to the man, and uh, it's kind of an interesting story. It's just kind of deserted, and they've never, uh, you know, redeveloped it or anything like that. But I went around and took some video and I, when I got home I didn't have all the video that I wanted and some of it didn't come out. So I decided I'd come back and uh, matter of fact here he comes right now and we'll go talk to him. But uh, anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video and uh, we'll go from there. But uh, anyway, in talking to him and they just, when uh, apparently when the Holiday Inn started up their business just went kaput and they just shut down kind of a shame uh, and we were talking about the value of the property and uh, I mentioned 10 million dollars US dollars and he kind of shook his head and yeah no maybe maybe knitting away and so who knows but but if I was to put a dollar value on this property I'd I'd say it's got to be at least worth 10 million dollars anyway right on the river and then you you know you've got this place right here uh, just unbelievable. But anyway, we'll go back in. And uh, yesterday I walked around quite a bit. I went upstairs, but for some reason that video just didn't take. And uh, I didn't want to put up what I had. So I decided to come back out today. It also gives me a good excuse to go back inside the city and have breakfast. But uh, yesterday I didn't walk out by the river. Today we'll walk out and see if we can't get up by the river. But here you can get a good look at it from here. Really just a cool place. Let's see if we can get out here without getting snake bit. It's a beautiful day. It's early in the morning. It's Sunday morning about, uh, about 9, 30, 10 o'clock. Yesterday I was out here in the afternoon and it was really, really hot. But today, we'll see if we can't climb up this bank and get a look at the river. If I don't bust my ass. Oops. Well, I might bust my ass. Shouldn't do this with flip-flops, but anyway, that's the view. Man. Unreal. Look at the condos over there. I had no idea. We'll walk along this little ridge here and we can get out the other side. That is really neat. You see, he's probably had to build this up for the, to keep the river from flooding them out. I guarantee it. Because this water in here gets pretty high sometimes. And that's the Holiday Inn and that's the hotel that begins with an R that I can't pronounce. But what a view, man. And then you get the swimming pool over here and the hotel's right behind it. We'll keep walking down this path. Wow. I'm 
I'm amazed we haven't haven't seen a snake yet. But yeah, I bet they had these little pavilions sit right out sitting right out by the river. And uh, you could just sit here. Let's walk over here now and we'll get another look at the swimming pool. Man, you talk about some high dollars spent out here building this place. And it's just sitting here. Now, can you imagine? Just kind of imagine it all cleaned up. Nice blue water in the pool. Somebody over there serving you a nice drink while you swim up to the pool and sit there and have a drink. And then you're out looking over the river. So he says 30 years ago they went out of business. So that would have put it somewhere around the, the neighborhood of 1990. But the hotel probably goes back a lot further than that. Uh, when we get inside, you'll see some of the, the uh, furniture in there is really old style. This is just beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Wow. Sit here and serve up a nice cool, cool drink. Man, oh man. <laughs> just gets me thinking. Unreal. Yep, just swim up and have a drink. That is probably one of the nicer pools that I've, you know, if it, I mean, if it was fixed up, one of the nicer pools that I've seen here. Man, oh man, just swim up and have a drink. Sit there and relax. We'll walk over this way. Here you see. We'll save the hotel for last. There were some dogs out here yesterday. There they are. They didn't bite me yesterday. I don't think they'll bite me today. This is really what I enjoy doing. I love getting out exploring and finding things that uh, you know you don't normally see. And uh, to me, that's, that's what's re really interesting. Oh, you guys be quiet. I didn't bring you no food, I'm sorry. But uh, that's what makes it so much fun, seeing the unknown. There they are. You guys are good boys. You're not gonna bite me. I'll bring you food tomorrow. Should have brought you some today. But you can see all the different buildings they've got set up here. And as we go out, I'll uh, I'll show you the entrance too. It's pretty neat. I didn't notice it yesterday while I was filming. I noticed it when I was driving out. But this is a big piece of property. And I'll bet you any hotel chain would love to have it to build a hotel. Really kind of neat. And you try to figure figure out what was here. It almost looks like it was some kind of a bandstand or something. It's kind of what it looks like. Maybe we'll try to get on top of it and see. And then you've got another building over here. And we're on a tile floor right now. I guarantee I'll bet you that's exactly what it was. I'll bet they had a dance floor out here. Yeah, look at this was a bar at one time. It's okay, buddy. Don't sneak up behind me. I'm not going to bother you. Wow. I'm amazed that I haven't found anything on the internet about this place. Don't sneak up behind me. <laughs> yeah, look at this. I didn't see this yesterday. 
It's a big bar. Wow. What's your name, dog? I'm your, gonna be your buddy, okay? Yeah, this was something else. Man. And I'll bet you that's where people came in. Right through here. And probably paid their entrance fee right here. You see out here, we're in straight up the road. Huh, that is interesting. Another shoe. This is really cool. We're not talking about a small place either. If uh, any of y'all who have lived here for a while, and I know we've got some subscribers that have lived here for a long time, tell us, tell us about this place, what you remember of it, if you remember it. Yeah, see, look there. That's some kind of a bandstand. It looks like, but we'll go in. We'll go over there and explore it a little bit more. I wonder what these rooms were used for. Almost looks like a, some kind of a kitchen or some sort. Trees growing right up through the through the ceiling. Look at that. Unreal. actually a second story here. Well, let's go explore. As long as I don't see any snakes, I'm okay. Wow, look at that tree. is just right up through there. Unbelievable. Yeah, let's go see what's upstairs. If we can. Might get a nice view from up here. Look at this tree. Going right out the side. Man, I missed all this yesterday. I'm glad I came back. Two more bathrooms. Turn my light on and see how that works. I've never tried it before. Huh. Light this up a little bit. Wash your hands right there. Well, let's uh, walk out here and see what we got. Sure got a nice view of the street. Here's the luxury residence hotel. And then you get a peak building over there. I don't know what that is. Then you get Deutsche Tep right in the background. Pretty cool. And I guess you could sit up here and drink and listen to the band if that's what it had. But I'm kind of wondering those 
little things down there, and when we get down there, I'll show you a little bit closer. They look like little sinks. I wonder what they were used for. We'll walk back downstairs. There are also some. Whoa, don't want to walk down that way. Shoo, that would have been bad. Something about how doing this stuff, you always got to watch where you're putting your feet. Pretty cool. And let's walk across here. And I want to see what this is right here. Oh, you're not king of the hill, dog. Yeah, this looks like it was a little bar too. Hey guys, cool it. Chill out. But I wonder what these were. That interests me. Now, a lot of times when they have a restaurant or something like that, they'll have fresh fish or fresh prawn that, uh, that you can catch. Let's see if there's any way we can get up here. Hey, buddies. You don't want me to bring you no food, do you? But yeah, it's almost too small to be a bandstand. And there's the little entrance way right there let's see what we can see from back here kind of hard to tell <laughs> I don't know what to make of you well, let's walk over here to the hotel and apparently this was the, that was the entrance way that you used to get from the hotel to this area. We'll go up here and see what's what's going on over here. But uh, there's no telling how many places in Thailand are, are like this. Um, I've seen videos of some down in Phuket and uh, some just abandoned resorts. And one of the things that, that when when I came here in 2004, my wife and I went down to Krabi and we stayed at the Andaman Holiday Resort. It was a really beautiful hotel right on the ocean. And when we went, got here, I think in 2011, we took another trip down and tried to find it and it was gone. I'm sure it was wiped out by the tsunami and a big, big luxury hotel had been built on the property. But uh, I'm sure around there, there were some places that just didn't get built back up. Now here's a look at the entrance way to the hotel. And you get the reception desk right here. Information reception. I checked these drawers yesterday. I was looking for some type of a brochure or something. Didn't find anything. I checked the doors and they were locked. And look under here. I don't see anything. Huh. I'd love to find an old brochure of this place. That would just put icing on the cake. Let's see what's in here. I'm nosy. Yeah, it's locked. Can't get in. But anyway, let's go look at some of the rooms. Here's some of the old phone numbers and room numbers where they put your key. Huh. We'll go downstairs first. Wow. Old wood paneling. You get your bathroom in here. Now that's one heck of a bathtub. Huh. And you get your room right here. 
Now, one of these rooms that I went into, there was part of the bed left, and I'll try to find it because it was really kind of neat. Now, it looks like it might have had air conditioning, but who knows? Yeah, I'll try to find that room because there was a portion of the bed that was still there. Then you get your little patio taking you right out to the, to the side where you could sit here and have coffee and sip a tea or whatever you wanted. Man, that's so neat. Let's go check out one of the other rooms. I want to show you the bed design. It was really cool. can't remember which room it was. We'll just walk down this way a little ways. The posters were still there. It's not this one. It may have been upstairs because I did go upstairs. Yeah, this is about the same. Yeah, it looks like they had air conditioning. Pretty neat. Now let's go upstairs, because I think that's probably where I saw the room with the bed frame. If not, we'll come back down here and find it, because it's really neat. It had the, uh, still had the pillars attached. Where you could see that they would have uh, mosquito nets. remember which one it was. I'll try this one. Nope, it's not this one. Keep going. Try lucky 13. No, nope, not this one either. What a view you'd have from up here. And I'd say 30 years ago, the Holiday Inn wasn't there. Just neat. See, then they've got a big place over here. I think they live over there now. Oh, just a couple of rooms here. Oh, okay, here it is right here. This must have been one of the fancier rooms. Let me turn my light on real good so you can see real good. But you see how the posts come up to the top? And then you've got the the bed that was right there, this must have been one of the suites. Let's see if there's any difference in the bathroom. Probably not. Nope, same thing. Got a Western style toilet. Just out of curiosity. I can't get it open. Like I said I would love to find a brochure. Pretty cool. We had a nice balcony out here. We'll walk down to the other end and uh, take a look. See, that was room number 11. I wonder if it's open. Yeah, yeah, that's the one we just came out of. I 
we'll check 12. We looked in 13. Yeah, pretty much everything's been taken out of here. Yeah, those drawers are not gonna open. Why you see up in the ceilings? Looked in 13. I don't think they're going to be much different. And pretty much all the same. It's got a little bit newer on the door. <laughs> Graffiti. Somebody got in here. Now this, I wonder what this is. It's probably wallpaper. There it goes a gecko. And see, then they had a mirror up right in front. Cigarette butts. Wonder. Huh. Monica's drawer. All she got is a pipe. Anyway, let's head out of this one. It's starting to get hot. I'm glad I got an early start. Yeah, we looked in that one. We can walk down here to the end. I wonder what this is. No telling. It's funny. When I see that, uh, let you know a little secret that uh, in the old days, now we're going back in probably in the early 90s, Holiday Inns, the way they were built, they all had a chaseway right down the middle of the rooms so the uh, maintenance workers could, could get in, the, in and work on the plumbing. And it was, it would be the back of the mirror would be on the wall facing the uh, the inside of the room and uh, we were down there working a case I forgot exactly what it was we had a lot of stolen jewelry out of one hotel it was millions of dollars of jewelry being stolen and it turned out to be gypsies that were stealing it but uh, we were down there and we were in one of the rooms that had been been burglarized. Yeah, see, here's another one. And uh, we looked at the mirror, and there's a little dot on the mirror. And it was really strange because, uh, you know, it just, it was almost like a beam of light coming right out of the mirror. So uh, we, um, yeah, these must be sweets here. Anyway, we, uh, we went in the chaseway of the Holiday Inn. And every single room, there had been a hole drilled at the mirror and just a little scratch put in the mirror where somebody inside that, that chase room could see inside the room. And uh, I don't know how many lawsuits Holiday Inn had over that particular incident, but I know the people that, that were in the room that uh, they got burglarized that we worked, I know they sued Holiday Inn. I, I, I'm sure they settled. But uh, Google that, and, and you'll be, be amazed to, to see. I think there'll probably be quite a, quite a few of them. But uh, if you ever stay in a hotel, it's always best to uh, check the mirror real good. If you see any scratches in the mirror, get another room. Uh, we never did actually find, I mean, there were so many holes drilled in that wall. It, 
it had taken somebody a long time and they had been there for a while so we really couldn't pin it on anybody but um, all the holiday inns were set up that way they've i think they've since changed that i mean stop putting the chaseway in between the rooms that and another thing that i always did when i checked into a hotel room i'd always put toilet paper in the keyhole paper because uh they make a device that you can put up to that and people just uh put the device up to the uh to the peephole and they can see right inside your room pretty cool fountain we'll walk out this way a little bit and then I think we'll call it a day. That is neat. Man, oh man. Could you just imagine this place back in the day, you know? I mean, I would give anything to have been coming here back in the 70s. I mean, really. Loved it. I'll bet you this is probably the Wonder Room. Unfortunately, I didn't discover Thailand until 2004, but I would love to have been back here, you know, in the 70s, 80s, 90s, um, and seen how it actually was. That is neat. Is cool. The lights are still up there. Let me turn this light off. I don't want to blind y'all. Oh, there we go. Anyway, I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, like I said, this is one of the things that I really enjoy getting out doing more so than uh, walking the streets. It's finding these old dilapidated places and you know walking around and exploring and uh, meeting people and hearing the history of it when you, when you can find the history. And like I said, I, the, this place was called Ra, Raja Wadi Hotel. And I searched on the internet last night and, and looked for pictures of it and I, could, I couldn't find anything. Uh, you know, I, I think um, Agoda and all those places have got, got the damn internet so scammed with hotels that are, you know, already in business that it kind of blocks out everything else. But, you know, I may, there's another way I can try it. I can try it on, on uh, old web pages and uh, search that, and I, I may do that too. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed the little walk around, and uh, we'll see what I come up with next time. I, I don't have anything planned other than a walk up in this general area, and there's a couple temples up here that are really cool. And then this, this is the section that uh, there are a lot of Muslims that live in this area, and I plan on doing a walk through there. But anyway, I'll leave a, uh, a map in the, in the description and all that good stuff so you can, you'll see where this place is. I don't know if he'd really want people out here wandering around like I did, but I don't know. He's a pretty nice guy. But anyway, I hope you enjoy this, and if you do, remember to hit like. It re that's really important. It puts the video out there to a lot more people. Um, even more than subscribing. If you like the video, it kind of helps it more than subscribing to the channel. But I'd like for you to subscribe too because I love for people to see what I do and see the places that I can show you. And uh, leave me some comments and uh, we'll see you on the next one. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.
Oh. Now, there is an old house right there. And I have yet to figure out how to get to it. But I may walk down there. And there is probably the sign, where the sign was for this place. Huh. Pretty cool. And I'm pretty sure he told me yesterday that he owns those, those are townhouses right there. He owns those, rents them out. But there doesn't appear to be anybody living there. And then on the other side of this is an old house. And you can't, there's no way to get to it. It's all fenced in. But it looks like it's really, really old. I'm not, I'm not going to give up on that one just yet. But anyway, I'm going to head to the car. Because I know there's air conditioning in the car. And uh, it's starting to get hot. Hell, yesterday it got up to, it got up to 42 Celsius in the car. I mean, outside the car. Uh, inside the car was nice and cool because I had the air conditioner going full blast. But... Uh, it's, it's definitely hot season now. We haven't had any rain, but uh, maybe in the next few days we'll get some rain and start cooling things off a little bit. But uh, anyway, this is the last goodbye. I'm going to close out, and we'll see you later. Bye.